Hey everybody and welcome back to Lindsay's Little Library. It is Booklist Thursday and we are doing something so fun and cool and unique today. At least I hope you think it's as fun and cool and unique. So typically Booklist Thursday is something I do with my friend Sarah from Sarah's Nightstand and every Thursday we bring to you some sort of list of book recommendations or thoughts or ideas or something bookish related. And to change things up for this Thursday, uh, we were chatting and realized that we both have access to a lot of little free little libraries in um, our cities. So we thought it would be fun to go and fill up those little libraries with books that we were unhauling and kind of check out and see what they have and give you a little taste of what is around in our area. Um, so I am going to go with um, my kids school at the end of the year gave us a list of let's see there's like 10 locations of the of different little libraries within the city so I'm gonna kind of start with that there's a few that I know of that are not on this list that are more in my neighborhood um, that I might stop at as well so I don't know if I'm gonna get to all 10 I don't know how many we're gonna go to I have a limited time that I have to do this uh, while my kids are at art camp and then Max will be with me but that's fine. He'll just ride along. So my goal is to get rid of all of the books that I have in the back of my car. I'll kind of give you a shot of what that looks like, but it's quite the pile. Um, and come home with very few. I'm not going to say I'm not going to come home with any because I feel like that's just going to set me up for failure, but come home with a limited amount of books when I go there. So I'm getting rid of more than I'm bringing in, right? So yeah, I will vlog along the way, bring you with me, and we'll see what happens. I don't know. All right, guys, I think we are ready to go. I have a, what are these called? Milk crate, you should know that. I grew up on a farm, hello, Lindsay. A milk crate full, I guess that maybe isn't related, but full of books and I have my little tote bag full as well. In this one, I have some children's books in the bottom. So I know a few of the libraries we're gonna visit today are at schools, so I think I'm gonna leave more children book related books I've said books a bunch of times at those. So I have a couple couple classics that I'm getting rid of and I have a few. These were from like when I was a kid I don't know guys like I remember reading these all the time like all the time especially this one so I don't know if all of these are going to make it in. We'll see I may want to keep some oh, I remember that one um I may want to keep some, I don't know, but there's definitely um, a pile down at the bottom. So we're going to start just going kind of down my list and stopping at some libraries and handing off some books and see what they have. So I've got plenty to get rid of today. Absolutely plenty. So yeah, you're going to come with me. Aren't you excited? I know I am. Library number one, outside of Super cute. This one, this one looks a little rough. I don't know. I'm not seeing anything that I'm really interested in. Which is good. So I'm going to add my books in. I'm getting rid of the Jack Reacher one because I don't think we're ever going to read that. Janet Ivanovich one and this Pamela one that I just have had forever and never touched. So wow, these look pretty rough. Beach Road. That could be cute, beachy one. I don't need it though. Don't need it. All right. We're done with that one. All right, this one's super cute. It matches the house. They have a rock garden in there. That's adorable. I'm gonna be leaving. We're leaving a Jeffrey Archer book. A book I got in some book club box I subscribed to for a little minute. And another Janet Ivanovich, so we're gonna do that. So I don't see anything that I am interested in, so that's good. 
We're doing good, guys. We're getting rid of more books than I'm taking, so that's the goal. Okay, so these next two require a little bit of a walk. Let's see. Hey, Max, are you ready? You want to go take a walk? Drop off some books? He's not really into it. He's kind of like just sitting in the car. So wish me luck that I get him out of the car and we'll go drop off some more books. This is kind of fun. I like the fact that I'm getting rid of stuff. Feels good. It feels good. Here we go. We've got massive traffic and crabby pants behind me crying because I'm making him walk a whole block. Oh, the things we do, right? So, here's the next one. Really cute. Holy buckets, it's packed. Look at that. I'm gonna go through this. All right, we survived. I still have whiny pants in the back. He's watching some trolls thing, so ignore that. Um, I found a couple at the last one I was at. So I picked up Snapshot by Angie Stanton. I've read this already, but for free, I thought I could add it to my pile. Um, this is centers around these Jameson brothers. There's three books that go in, that's in the series. They're really great, just easy reads, easy lovey-dovey reads. And then I found a book of the month club book. Who the heck is in my city that's giving away these Book of the Month clubs? I need to know who you are because we can just swap. It'd be easier. So the Mars Room was in there by Rachel Kushner. I have I did not select this as mine, but I've heard good things about it. So I thought for free, I'll pick it up and give it a whirl and try. And if I don't like it, I'll just take it back to the little library. So I'm at my next destination. It's at a school. Max is going to stay in the car. It's just one of those days. It's just a, He's just... Yeah. So, all right, let's go see what this one has. Entry school. I think I'm going to leave kid books here. Look how cute this is. It's adorable. I love it. Oh, this is so cute. All right. Yep, all kids' books. That's perfect. All right, sky is looking pretty oh, gloomy, dark. Let's just hope raindrops hold off until I am done with all of my little library drop-offs. Fingers crossed. Okay, this library is very special because this is the one that my husband and I donated to a school. So this one is the one I make sure that I know is full all the time, looking pretty good. I like this. I actually might not even drop any off here. Because that looks really good. I'll save my kids' books for when it's a little emptier. So, yeah, that's the one we made. I love it. This one is by a church, so I should probably be a little bit more conscious of what I'm going to put in there. Maybe these two. I'm really safe with an ESPN one. Right? Yeah, we're going to go with go with those. Look at how low my box is getting, guys. This is awesome. Super cute, too. Let's see what we got. I've encountered so many spiderwebs doing this. It's kind of ridiculous. So, nothing really catching my eye, which is fine. We all know I don't need them, so we're going to add our books to it and move on. Pit stop at Hobby Lobby. Oh, wow, I got a big bug on my windshield. But uh, stopping at Hobby Lobby, I have recently figured out how to make some book sleeves. Not that it's hard, but I'm hoping that they have um, what I'm looking for, like thinner foam to make it work better. So. We're going to pop in here, take a look around, and then continue on our quest. Alright, this is my last one. This one's super cute. It's got a little bench next to it. Um, this one's kind of close to my house, so we visit this one pretty often. Um, I think I have like seven books left. I'm just going to put them all in here and be done organized this one a little bit, made it pretty. I felt bad that I was just tossing the other ones in there. Um, nothing in here really hits my eye. Maybe this one, which I don't have, but it's mass market paperback. I'm just not a fan of those. So 
we'll see. Maybe if I can't get it off my mind, like I said, I'm really close to this one, so I can always come back and take a look. So here's a walk to remember. <gasps> do I have this one? I don't think I do. Maybe I'll take this one just to kind of have on my shelves because I do love that book. What's this one? Mary Jane Clark Footprints in the Sand. Mm. Well, here's a Brad Thor book which my husband loves but he hasn't been reading lately so we're not going to do that one either. So. There. Now I can move these over. I come for that. And it all looks cute. So. Alright, that's it. Thanks for coming on my adventure with me today. That was super fun. Max wasn't a fan, but that's alright. Oh, that's just so cute. Okay, so we're back. Um, just in time because I think it's going to rain in like a matter of minutes. So we got really, really lucky. Um, I was able to make it to six of the libraries on this list, as well as one extra one. I was gonna go to another one, um, but it's in front of a house and there's a lot of people outside and I just felt kind of funny, so I skipped that one. But we went to quite a few. I came back. I have an empty crate in the back of my car. I have very limited amount in the in that blue bag that I had, um, a small pile of children's books, but I'm gonna keep that in order to replenish the library that um, we donated to my kids' school. So we made a commitment to make sure that it was full for the first year, so I'm gonna kind of save those. It was pretty full when we stopped there before. I'm gonna save that for when it gets a little empty and we'll replenish it then. So um, I did pick up three books, which you probably saw, but I'll review, we'll recap. Um, I got A Walk to Remember by Nicholas Sparks. I've read this a long time ago. I actually wouldn't mind reading this again. Um, because I really, really liked it, but I, that was a, I'm talking like, like a long, long time ago that I read this, but I thoroughly enjoyed it, um, and wouldn't mind just having it on my shelf, so I grabbed that. Um, as well as I picked up Snapshot by Angie Stanton. Uh, this is a Jamison Brothers novel. This follows three brothers who are kind of famous rock stars. Um, and this is the second book in the series, I believe. It's a series of three. Um, it's more of a YA type of a contemporary book, but it follows uh, Marty, Adam, and what's his other brother's name? I can't remember. So this one focuses on Adam, which is one of the Jameson brothers, and he meets Marty, and it goes through kind of what their relationship look like, looks like. The very first book, um, the three brothers are on tour. They're tour bus stops at a park. Um, one of the girls is there. Is, her name Jamie or is his name Jamie? I don't remember. Um, but she's just kind of hanging out at this park that she loves to be at and just kind of hits it off with one of the brothers. She has no clue he's some famous singer and it goes from there. They are easy reads, easy romancy. If you need something like that, good beach read type of a book, these are definitely it. Um, I picked this up. I'm going to bring it to book club because we do talk about these quite a bit and I'm going to see if anybody there wants that one. And then, I'm super excited I found this book. I can't believe I found this book. Ah! But it's The Mars Room by Rachel Kushner. This is a book of the month book. Um, it, I get very Orange is the New Black kind of vibes from it. So it follows um, Rami Hall? Rami? Romy? Rumi? Rami Hall. She is serving two life sentences in a, correction, a women's correctional facility and kind of goes through... Her experience sounds good like I said I've heard good things about it a friend of mine I believe picked up this book I don't remember if she's read it yet um, but it was definitely on my radar I'm so glad I found it for nothing That's so exciting I love that makes me feel better about what I spent at Barnes & Noble yesterday but we're not gonna talk about that right now because we're just not so this was really fun I hope you had a good time um, oh, my Hobby Lobby pop I didn't talk about when I popped in there. I did not find what I was looking for. So if anybody knows where I can find quarter inch foam, let me know because I'm not having any luck. And I've tried half inch and it's just too, they're too thick, I think. Let me show you. So this was one of the first ones that I made and I made it with the half inch one and it just, they're too big, I think just too thick. I mean, I want some padding there because that's what's going to protect your books, right? 
but it's just too big. And I know I've seen them. I just gotta find where that foam is. I don't know. I've tried Joann's and Hobby Lobby. So hit me up. Let me know if you have any luck. So there you go. Make sure you go and check out Sarah's channel and see what kind of treasures she found on her little hunt today. This did feel very scavenger hunt-ish. So I had a lot of fun. Um, but definitely check out her channel. Otherwise, subscribe, like, and of course, comment below. We will see you next time. Bye.